My name is Moyanga Kilonzo. I'm the head of department in the Department of Medical Engineering. Department of Medical Engineering falls under the Faculty of Rehabilitative Sciences. And uh, basically, within the department, we have three programs. That is the diploma, uh, higher diploma in medical engineering. We have diploma in medical engineering. And we also have certificate in medical engineering. Uh, basically, certificate in medical engineering takes two years. It's a two years program. And um, basically, the entry requirement is an aggregate of C minus, which is the most requirement. Of course, there are some other units that you one must pass, like mathematics and one of the languages. Then we also, in the certificate, it is a full time program where the student must be there physically for training. And then we have a diploma program which is a three-year program. Again, the partly is a face-to-face -face program. And of course, there are some units which may be done through e-learning or maybe via um, uh, other means of, of learning where you don't need to be there physically. But most of it, you also have to be there physically. That is the diploma for three years. Then from the certificate, those who have qualified for certificate, they can actually get a, to upgrade to diploma, which is, an, we call it a upgrading diploma, which takes two years. The moment you finish certificate, you can progress to diploma for two years. Then from there, we also have higher diploma. Basically, we have three higher diplomas. These are specialities where you want to specialize on particular areas. The first area of specialty in higher diploma is higher diploma in med medical engineering dialysis, where you do dialysis and you deal with equipment dealing with dialysis. Then we have higher diploma in medical engineering diagnostic equipment. And the third one is higher diploma in medical engineering uh, therapeutic equipment. For you to qualify to do any of the higher diplomas, you must have attained or qualified with a diploma in medical engineering from either KMTC or from another recognized institution. Upon qualifying for either certificate, diploma, or higher diploma, one can get opportunity to work in various uh, areas. One of the major employers of medical engineering students who have qualified is actually the health institutions in this country. We have what we call their county referral uh, health facilities. We also have uh, private health institutions, and we also have what we refer to as faith-based health institutions, where stood, uh, upon qualification, one can get employed. One of the most important things about medical engineering is that besides being employed, getting employed in these health facilities, one can actually be able to be, get, to get employed in what we refer to as the hotel industry. Hotel industry because some of the things that they do in engineering entail management of uh, kitchen and laundry equipment, which are basically the main equipment in hotel industry. So some of our stu uh, students who qualify are actually working in hotel industry. Other places that students can be, uh, upon qualification, can get employed is actually in uh, uh, companies who sell medical equipment. Quite a number of our students are employed. We have companies like Philips, like GE, and Megascope, who have employed quite a number of our students. So the opportunities are there, they are wide, and it depends on the, how well one has been prepared to take these opportunities. Once uh, you uh, get the opportunities, what of, one of the things we are saying is that training in Kenya Medical Training College will uh, help you to get wider knowledge in terms of what you get. Because in medical engineering basically involves three engineering disciplines. We have, you get trained in electrical engineering, you get trained in electronic engineering, and you get trained also in mechanical engineering, which are three basic uh, different engineering, which are combined together to equip you to be able to deal with different types of equipment that you are going to get while you are doing uh, you are working. 
Beside that, to make you better, you are also trained in what we refer to as human anatomy and physiology. This helps you to know how the body of a patient is inter interacts with the medical equipment for you to be able to do a uh, good uh, repair and know how to take care also of the patient when it comes to the patient safety in work area. Um, the most important thing for you to tell you is that KMTC has doors open. We are three, uh, twice we advertise for applications. We have applicants who come in March and also in September. So those of you who do your exams in this uh, November, this uh, by January, you have your results, you can actually apply and be able to get places of, uh, of, uh, as a student with the Kenya Medical Training College. Once you do that, you will be exposed to various well-trained faculty members who have been trained thoroughly, who will equip you well in, with the different type of equipment that we have. We have our workshops which are well equipped and skills labs which will give, expose you to the best training that you can be able to get. So if you want to apply, most of all our applications are online. You can visit www.kmtc.ac.ke and there you will be able to get to apply for any of our, our programs so long as you are qualified. My name is Andrew Moka Mongangi from Kenya Medical Training College, Nairobi Campus. I undertake diploma in medical engineering. After I graduate, I'll become a medical engineering technologist. My work simply is to deal with maintenance and calibration of machines to ensure that they'll be safe for the patient used in the hospitals. As the name says, Kenya Medical Training College. Uh, training uh, is the reason why I chose KMTC because after I graduate, I'll have the skills and I'll be competent in the job market so that I can compete with other people in terms of getting employed. I will recommend KMTC to other new students because KMTC has competent lecturers uh, who attend their lectures on time and they are ready and willing to teach and when followed up to ask questions and interventions, they usually provide answers and I'm very happy to be here in KMTC. Uh, for those who are willing to join KMTC, KMTC applications are done online. Uh, you visit the KMTC admission portal, you upload your documents, and after they have been reviewed and you qualify for a certain course, you'll get an application or an admission letter that you are ready to be at KMTC.